Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to match your vocal recording to the beat in BandLab. If your phone is suffering from audio latency or your vocals are not quite matched to the beat of your song, then here are some of my tips on how to fix it. How to set up and adjust audio latency compensation to match your phone. And in the second half of this video, how to manually move your recorded vocal track to match your song's drum beat. First, make sure you've set up BandLab's latency compensation correctly. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on voice mic. At the top of the screen, tap on the settings icon. Scroll down the settings list, then tap on latency fix. Unplug any headphones or other devices connected to your phone so the sound comes out of your phone speakers. Then tap on retake test. Find somewhere quiet with as little background noise as possible. Then tap Start Test. When the test is finished, tap on Done. And then at the top of the screen, tap on the Wave icon. Now record some vocals. Then tap the X icon at the top of the screen. If your vocals are still not in time with your beat, tap on the settings icon. Tap on Latency Fix, then tap on Advanced. If your recording is behind the beat and starting too late, tap on the plus icon 10 times or drag the dot on the line to the right so the number between the minus and plus icons is 10 milliseconds higher. If your recording is ahead of the beat and starting too early, tap on the minus icon 10 times or drag the dot on the line to the left. So the number between the minus and the plus icon is 10 milliseconds lower. Then tap on save. And now tap on done. And at the top of the screen, tap on the wave icon. Next, tap on the vocal recorded section on your vocal track so it is highlighted. Then tap on the first icon in the pop-up menu which is the delete icon. Then double tap the vocal track header icon. And record your vocals again. Then at the top of the screen, tap on the X icon. To lose. If the vocal recording is still not in time with the beat, go back to Advanced in the Latency Test in Settings again and increase or decrease the milliseconds.
If you have recorded your vocals already, or the timing isn't an audio latency issue, you can edit the vocal track instead. Tap on the settings icon. Tap on the snap to grid toggle switch so it is white and snap is turned off. Then at the top of the screen, tap on the wave icon. Drag the screen with your finger so the white vertical track position marker is at the beginning of the first of your vocals. The vocals appear on the recording as blobs, so position the track position marker at the beginning of the first blob. Now tap on the recording so it is highlighted. Then tap on the third icon on the pop-up menu, which is the slice icon. Tap on the highlighted section of the recording, which is before the first vocals. And tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. Now tap on the recorded section on the vocal track that has your vocals in it to highlight it. If your vocals are ahead of the beat and starting too early, drag the vocal recording to the right. If your recording is behind the beat and starting too late, drag the vocal recording to the left. Now play your recording to check the timing. You may need to move the recording several times before you get the timing just right. A tip here is to line up the white vertical track position marker with the beginning of a bar. Then line up the beginning of one of the blobs with the beginning of the bar. If you've lined up the correct blob with the beginning of the bar, your vocal should now be matched to the beat. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us the thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.